Hi there guys, my name's Craig from Nonstop Kids Entertainment and welcome to NSK TV, welcome to Rubik's Cube Mayhem, fun with Rubik's Cubes, whatever you want to talk to it about, uh, whatever you want to call it. Guys, this is the uh, this is the episode of part of NSK TV where I teach you guys how to solve Rubik's Cubes. If you want to take a mixed up Rubik's Cube and you want to learn how to solve it, not like that, but if you want to learn how to solve it, then I am the guy to speak to. Now, in last week's episode, I taught you how to make a white cross. I taught you how to make a white cross. On this week's episode, I'm going to teach you how to finish the entire bottom layer. If you have not yet learned how to watch a white, uh, solve, uh, learned how to make a white cross, then go back to the previous week and have a look at that uh, video on how to make a white cross, because you'll need to know that in order to uh, understand this video that we're doing right now. Uh, but by the time you've finished watching this video, you'll know how to solve the entire bottom layer of the cube. So grab your cube, let's get going. Okay, so on, on last week's video, we looked at how to make a white cross. Now, I'm not going to go through this again. If you don't know how to make a white cross, my advice is to um, go and look at last week's video. However, you should end up, after learning the white cross, after last week's video, you should have on the white section of the Rubik's Cube a white cross like this. Now, there might be a white there, there might be a white there, there might be other whites, but don't worry about the corner pieces. The important thing is you have to be in this situation where you have a white cross and the edge of each piece matches up to the centerpiece of the face that's next to it. So in other words, this white has green and it's next to green. This white has red, it's next to red. This white has blue, it's next to blue. And this white has orange, it's next to orange. If you don't know how to do that, look at last week's video. Now, what we're going to do on this week's video is we're going to complete the bottom layer. Remember, there's three layers. There's a the bottom layer, the middle layer, and the top layer. We're going to complete the bottom layer. So by the time we've finished, that bottom layer will be complete. Now, in order to do this, we have to do the corner pieces. So we have to get these four corner pieces in. Now, the corner pieces are going to be here, 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 or here. They're not going to be on the middle layer, so you don't have to worry about the middle layer. The other place they could be is here, 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 and here. As you can see, there's a lot of whites. What we need to do is we need to m move the corner pieces so they're in the correct place. Now, very quickly do this quickly. I'll very quickly do it quickly just to show you what it looks like. And then we're going to break down how to actually do it. So we're going to move the four corner pieces. I've done three. Uh, that is, there we go. Uh, oh, hang on. Sorry. That's not correct. Uh, let's do that. And there you go. Been solving Rubik's Cubes for years and even I can make a mistake sometimes. There we go. So what we have here now is we have the bottom layer completely done and if you have a look at the corner pieces the whites are here but not only are the whites here but this corner piece is green and orange and it's in the correct place this corner piece is red and green and this is in the correct place this corner piece is red and blue and this is in the correct place and this corner piece is orange and red and this is in the correct place and also those center pieces match up to the correct side so in other words this bottom layer is completely done so that's what we're going to achieve today so let's talk about how to do that uh, there's three moves that you're going to need to know and there's only three moves so let me just make my white cross again hang on there we go and like i said if you don't know how to do the white cross you just need to look back at last week's video but we should have a white cross so we should have that and as i say in this situation we've got this other corner piece here but it's not in the right place because although the white's pointing down it's green and red and this is orange and blue so this should actually be there so we're going to talk about how to get the corner pieces in now the fit the easiest way to do this first of all is to look along the top and find a corner piece that's on the top. So you're looking for a corner piece. So they're going to be here, 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 or here. And you're looking for one that has a white edge. Doesn't matter if the white's this way, this way, or this way. You're looking for a white edge. So if I look around, I can see a white edge here. And this is white, and it's orange and blue. So what this has to do is I have to put this in between the orange, uh, orange and blue. Now, at the moment, if you look at the centers of the faces it's in the corner of, this corner, this face is blue, which is fine. This is blue. But this face 
is red and this is orange. That's wrong. Now, I know that orange will be here. So I need to move this corner piece here. So the first thing that you need to do is when you've worked out which corner piece you're working with, you have to move the top layer so that it is in between the colours that match the colours on the corner piece. So in this case, and the top layer will not affect that bottom layer. That, that bottom layer there will still be fine because we're just moving the top layer, okay? So in this case, white, orange, blue, orange, blue. Now, the first algorithm that you need to learn is, th th there's three different algorithms. There's one if the white is pointing to the right. There's one if the white is pointing towards you. So if this was white, and there's one if there's white is pointing up. A lot of the time, you're going to have the white pointing to the right. So you're going to use this algorithm more than anything else. So let me show you what you do if the white is pointing to the right. You take, and this is going to keep this cross orientated the correct way as well. So you make sure it's in the correct place. You turn the right up. Uh, so the right side goes up. Then you turn the top to the left. And then you turn the right side back down. That's all you need to do. Once you've done that, there's your orange. There's your blue. And there's your blue and orange. It's in the correct place. The white cross hasn't been changed. Everything's fine there. It's all in the correct place. Let's just take it back up there again. And let's just talk about what would happen if the white was facing you. So in this case, the white is facing you. If the white is facing you, it's a different algorithm. If the algorithm this time, so watch very carefully, you turn the face. Remember, this is the face. This is the back. You turn the face to the left. Then you turn the top to the right. Then you turn the face to the right. And once again, there it is. It's in the correct place. That white cross hasn't been touched. So let's just move that back up here and we'll do that again. The white is towards us. So we take the face to the left, the top to the right, and then the face back to the right. And we're in this situation where it's in the correct orientation. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to just muck about with this and have it go up. Right. Okay. So now we've got a situation where this white is pointing up. So this is, this is what you do for the third one. This is the, this is the most complicated of the three. If the white is pointing up, you turn the right to the top, left twice, then you turn right down, then you turn the top back to the right, then you turn the right up, top to the left, right down. And once again, you're in the correct orientation. So there's a, it's a bit complicated, that one. So let's take all three of them again. Okay, so let's do this. So let's start with the top. So if it's pointing this way, so if the white is pointing up, right side up, twice to the left, right side down, top to the right, right side up, top to the left, right side down. Now that is orientated in the correct way. And most importantly, your white cross hasn't been mucked around with. If it's pointing you like this, if it's pointing in the right direction, you're going to go face to the left, top to the right, right side down. And again, it's in the correct place. And if we get it, uh, there we go. If we get it here, so it's pointing to the right. Once more time, this is the one we looked at at the very beginning. This is the easiest one. Right side up top to the left, right side down, and it's in the correct orientation. Now, when you've done one corner, you're a quarter of the way through. You're then going to look for another corner on the top layer. And I see it here. Look, here it is. And I look at the colors and it's red and it's green. Well, it's currently between red and blue. So I need to move that top layer to the right. Now, look, there's white, red, green, green, red. Perfect. And it's facing towards me. So I go face to the right. Top, sorry, face to the left, top to the right, face to the left. And now look, that's in the correct position. But this one that we did earlier is in the correct position as well. So we're golden. Now we look through the top again and we're going to look for another one on the top. Here it is. We've got orange, green and white. Now, look, it's already in between the orange and green. We are in the perfect position here because, look, we don't even have to move it because it's where it's meant to be. The white is pointing towards us. So if you know what the white is, when it's pointing towards us, you go face to the left, right to the uh, sorry, top to the right, face to the left. And you are now in the right position again. And then we look for the last one, which is here. 
You move that into this position. Now, I should tell you at this point before we do this, let's move this down here. You might get yourself into a situation when you're near the end, you might get yourself into a situation where there's none along the top. Look, I'm looking along the top layer and there's none there. And if that happens, it will be on the bottom layer, but it will be orientated the wrong way. So in other words, this last corner piece, it's in the correct place, but it's wrong because it's the, the white should be that way. So what we have to do is we have to bring it to the top without messing around any of the bottom. So to do that, we use the, the same algorithm that we used when the white is pointing to the right. So you go right side up, top to the left, right side down. All that's done is that's taken that piece and put it up there and replaced it with a random piece. So now we can move that to where it's meant to be, which is in between the blue and the red. And now I, it's the top. So when it's on the top, remember the algorithm, right to the top, top left twice, right side down, top to the right, right side up, top to the left, right side down. And then we are in exactly the same orientation. We're, we're, we've done, we're done. We're a third towards solving the cube, probably more like 40%. So let me just mix this up again and we'll go through it one more time. We'll go through it one final time. Uh, so let's just mix it up. So first of all, I need to get my white cross, which amazingly I've still got. Can't even believe I managed to do that, but that's great. So we've got our white cross. So there we go. So we've got our white cross still in position. Everything's fine. And so now we need the corner pieces. So we're going to look along the top and there's a corner piece there. It's facing towards me, but it's in the wrong place. We need to have it in between red, but sorry, blue and orange. So we move the top layer until it's in between blue and orange. It's facing to the face, face to the left, top to the right, right side down. That one's dropped in. Now let's look for the next one. It's there, green, red. That's red, that's green, so I need to move it there. The face is pointing towards me, so it's the same algorithm as before. Face to the left, right side to the uh, top to the right, right side down. Now we're done. So now we look for a third algorithm, uh, sorry, a third piece. There it is. It's right there. It's in the correct position as well. I don't need to move it, which is perfect. All I need to do is move it down here. It's pointing to the right, so I go right side up, top to the left, right side down. And then the last one is here. So I have to move this in between blue and red. It's here in between blue and red. It's the white pointing up. So what I have to do here, this is the more complicated algorithm, but here's an easy way to remember it. Right side up, top to the left, right side down, right to the uh, top to the right. And then these last three moves, are the, basically all that move has done is it's pointed the, the white to the right. So once those, those moves are done, now I do the same algorithm as before, which is top, uh, right to the top, top to the left, right side down, and now you are in the correct orientation. So there's just three algorithms that you need to learn whether the white is facing towards you, it's facing up, it's facing the right. So my advice is to practice this. Just keep mixing the cube up, make your white cross, and then just keep doing it and doing it. And by next week, you'll be in a situation where you can very quickly make the bottom layer. And then what we're going to do next week is we're going to show you how to fill in these middle sections here. So we're going to show you how to fill in this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece. So by the time we've finished with the next video, the two bottom layers will be done and it'll be just the top layer that we need to look at. So we'll do that next week. But by next week, I need you to practice so you can get the bottom layer very quickly. So there it is, guys. That's episode three of Rubik's Cube Mayhem. You're now in a situation where you have all the tools in front of you to be able to solve the bottom layer of a Rubik's Cube. My advice to you is practice, 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 because next week I'm going to assume you can do this. I'm going to teach you how to solve the middle layer. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We put episodes live six day, seven days a week, six episodes a day. And we also have uh, live uh, episodes going out on our Facebook page every day at one o'clock as well. Um, Please subscribe, enjoy everything else that's going on on NSK TV, and I'll see you next week on Rubik's Cube Mayhem. <laughs>